Okay, great. So all set now. We do have this memorial. Okay. I've already gone through it on fine. So great. Um yes, sir, thank you. May the council approach the yeah, please. Your Honor, the Indian Constitution is designed to protect its citizens and promote equality towards everyone. In this case, it seems like Mr. Kapoor doesn't get his right for his freedom. He was illegally detained for five and a half years, more than his punishment. His detainment was unjustified, no matter what the crime he has committed. He was even afflicted with mental abuse. Even in the case where Indian citizen was illegally uh, detained against the constitution. Even in the case of Bhim Singh of Jammu and Kashmir, he was illegally prevented by not attending the session of legislative assembly. He was inflicted by harassment by the police. Even the petitioner was also faced this similar problem. Uh, China supervising reportedly states that the unknown for detention was due to the letter number 1838. In addition to this report, on February 18th of 1977, the local civil surgeon says that the appealant is normal and which was passed on the law department on February 21st of 1977. It seems that our country pays no heed to these cases. And another such case was S. Anand versus the state of Tamil Nadu. He was not only detained, but also suffered bodily harm and torture. And it was to place in the hands of police. These autocracies were against us by the police. It's serious misuse of powers, and it goes against the protection of Indian citizens. How come we will be safe if the police who should protect us are leading us to danger? When we come to Mr. Kapoor's case, he was illegally detained for five and a half years than his punishment. There is a huge loss for him as he was mentally disturbed, lost bondings, and the state of unemployment. Either he has committed a crime that doesn't give any excuses. It would be subjected for physical detainment and mental torture. It would be considered severe violation of life of our freedom. So why should be the only couple in a uh, exception in this case? Our rights cannot be violated and everyone should be treated equally. Therefore, I urge this court to take severe action on this act committed against Mr. Kapoor. Fine. So second. May the council approach the dais? Yeah, please. In the state of Bihar known as Bagalpur, as said by my first speaker, Mr. Kapoor has been violated of his fundamental rights. He was detained for 14 years illegally after he was acquitted. The appellant Mr. Kapoor has filed a case based on the Article 32, which states the protection of fundamental rights. So he wants some compensation to continue his life. He has lost his job and also his freedom. The point here is, if the Article 32 provides some compensation for the violation of his fundamental rights, according to Article 32, 21 or not, Mr. Kapoor was violated of his rights and violated of his rights and rights and personal property, personal liberty. He needs some medical treatment on the government's expense and compensation for illegally detaining him for 14 years. So it is not possible for Mr. Kapoor to live his daily life just as others. Uh, he needs his daily requirements, so it requires capital. So we request to provide him some compensation. Fine. Now, what's the concept person would you like to add anything else? No? Okay, fine. So, I'd like to proceed with the, with the question and succession now. Okay, just a second. Let me share the screen. Okay. So, Council person, can, can you just tell me like how, how much compensation would you find uh, for your client? So actually, uh, we require compensation amount for about uh, 10 lakhs. Mm -hmm. is, is shelter mm -hmm. And also for the daily requirements. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to ask the government to give us some job, like help him in finding his job. Mm -hmm. so the compensation okay. amount is nearly 10 lakhs. 10 lakhs. Okay, fine. Great. And... Um, Okay, uh, can you just tell me like how it's related to Article 21 of Indian Constitution? Uh, I've gone through your memorial, but would you like to explain before the Code of Law? So Article 32 states right to life. Mm -hmm. Article 31. Okay, so how it is actually related to your case law? 
right to life was not given to Mr. Kapoor. Mm -hmm. He was uh, illegally detained for more than 14 years. Okay. Okay. And what is Article 32? So Article 32 states the protection of fundamental rights. Okay. Okay. Um, what is habeas corpus? Anyone? Anyone who would like to respond related to habeas corpus? Uh, arresting a person without any warrant, arrest warrant. Okay, fine. I won't go in detail. Okay. So don't you think like 10 lakh rupees and including government job is, is actually, I mean, so you, you want like compensation and uh, including government job, so it's actually not fair. Uh, actually asked for a job not a government job mm -hmm. like government should help him in finding his job okay so it can be a private job as well yes, yes. okay fine do you think like if someone is having you know a person is having problem related to your mental issues so do you think like a person is having you know this problem and he should get acquittal from the jail Yes, sir. Actually, uh, they didn't even provide proper medical mm -hmm. expenses. Okay. Uh, he was in jail normally uh, without any judgment of even court. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Fine. Okay. So, uh, why didn't you try for Article 226? Why didn't you file this matter under Article 226? Why uh, only Article 32? On the issue to be big, so we just filed it under 32. So you should have utilized Article 226, which gives you almost similar right to go to the high court in your own state. Okay, no problem. Uh, fine. Great. Fine. So already I have checked your memorial. And uh, it's quite good, impressive, good effort taken by you guys. Okay, all the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, most welcome.